Hey everybody, welcome into Farm Cooking with Nan. Today we're going to be doing a different little twist on just doing a chicken and potato uh, something in the crock pot, okay? So let's get our chicken going real quick. Okay, I've got my pan heated up. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of um, uh, <laughs> olive oil. Takes me a minute or two to think at this early in the morning. Okay, I've got about a pound of, of uh, chicken that I have cut up into little pieces. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn that down. It's on medium, but. That pan was nice and hot. I love my chicken to be seared real good. And I like it because I get a chance to put my seasoning on it while it's cooking. Now you're gonna, it's gonna be a great splattermentation here. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little pepper. About a half teaspoon. There's lots of other things going into this, so don't think I'm over salting or over peppering. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of pepper. Might need to put a little bit more when it's over. I'm gonna put about um, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Then I'm going to put uh, just a tad bit, a few shakes of uh, smoked paprika, maybe a half a teaspoon. I'm going to put a little onion powder. I'm going to put about a teaspoon. I like to do this while it's in the frying pan because it makes it just makes all your seasoning stick to the chicken. And I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder, about a teaspoon. We like to taste our seasonings. I don't like bland food. Now if you do, then you change it up and you put what you want on there, okay? We'll turn it up just a little bit more now that we got it all seasoned up. And we're going to stir this chicken up, get it nice and hot. You see that seasoning all stick to that chicken? That's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, we'll turn it up a little bit more and we'll be back. Okay, we got our crock pot here with a liner in it. We're going to take, I've already finished frying my chicken. I've just turned it off and letting it cool. Now I'm going to put one bag, and this is a, got it upside down, well, no I don't. This is a two pound bag of hash brown. This is southern style hash brown. It's just a little, just a little um, chicken. I, need, I needed to use those up. I've had them in the freezer for a while. Not too awful long, but I've had them in the freezer for a while, so I thought I need to make something that I can use some of this stuff up with that I've got that needs to be taken care of. Okay, I'm going to put my chicken. You can see right there, I fried it really good. Right over top of it, make sure it's all over it. Not just gobbed up in one place. Now, y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna take this pan because I love those drippings. Let me grab the thing and I'm gonna put uh, 
a cup. Yeah, about a cup. And I'm going to loosen up all that good seasoning and all that goody stuff out of my frying pan. That's flavor. And when you don't do this, that flavor goes down the drain when you wash it. So be sure and loosen up all your good seasoning and your little dabs of where you fried your chicken or any kind of meat that you're doing. Uh-oh, I'm getting a little half-handed here. I've already made a mess, Sadie. <laughs> Look at all that that's coming out of that. All that would have been missed. Would have been, like I said, down the drain. I spilled just a drop or two of cream there on the floor. There we go. Here we go. So we have got our chicken in there. We've, we've got our two pounds of hash browns. We've got our garlic powder. We've got our paprika. We've got our uh, Italian seasoning. We've got salt and pepper. We've got the heavy whipping cream in there. And then we're gonna put uh, I've got maybe about a cup of sharp cheddar, you know me, with cheese. I love cheese. This is not going to be like a soup or anything like that. This is just going to be chicken, potatoes, and a wonderful flavor. If you want to, over top of your potatoes, you could shake some ranch dressing, uh, let me see what I've got real quick. You know, my mind goes like a steel trap. <laughs> I've got some Hidden Valley Ranch here. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch. Just a little bit. Let's see. About a half a packet. Uh, this is just, like I said, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. Got a half a packet. And then I'm going to, whatever I've got right here next to me is going in there. That's the way it goes. When I cook, I just, still saying goes, whatever I need to use, I use. I'm going to put a couple handfuls of real bacon bits on top. That was probably about half a cup or less on top. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get the lid on here, and I'm going to get it in my slow cooker. And I'm going to cook it. Um, you could cook it on low for about five or six hours or because my chicken is almost done. Or you could put it on high for about two to three hours, and it'll be good. Let your chicken get good and tender. So we'll be back when it's finished. I just set it over there and put the lid on, and I thought, oh my goodness, I almost forgot my cream cheese. I've got four ounces, four ounces of cream cheese, and I have cut this so very thin because I don't want gobs of it. I want this to melt sort of like, just like regular cheese. I don't want a bunch of, uh, a bunch of gobs, okay? But there's just four ounces here. And I thought, whoa, oh, I'm not going to put the whole four ounces, or I'm going to cut these last two pieces up pretty, pretty small. I don't want any gobs like you would stir into a... Uh, like you would stir into a soup or something. Because this is not a soup. This is potatoes and uh, chicken and potato crock pot meal, okay? 
We'll name it something. I've got to go clean up and wash up, and we'll be back when this has been in about... I'm going to cook it on high just for about 30 minutes to get my everything good and warm. Turn it down on low for about five hours. Okay, I'm back. First thing I want to do is tell you I made some changes, okay? I'll get it over here in just a minute, but first of all, I'm going to read this to you. We did uh, one pound of chicken cut into small cubes, and I fried that and put some seasoning on there, right? We put uh, about teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, about a teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We did some salt and pepper, about three-fourths teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. And, and I put in one cup of heavy cream, but then I got to thinking and I thought, I, I think I need to add some more. So I added three cups total. Uh, heavy whipping cream. If you don't have that, then just, if you, you know, use milk or you can use broth. Any kind of broth. Chicken broth would be really good. Uh, about three cups of that. And then uh, I used uh, one cup of cheddar cheese, you know, and mixed that in right before we stopped videoing last time. And then I just added about another cup on top and uh, a half a cup of ba real bacon bits and a half a block, which is four ounces, of cream cheese cut into small pieces, very thin slices. And I cooked it probably a little longer than it needed because <laughs> my grandchildren came, two of my granddaughters came, and we got busy uh, working on some stuff, and I forgot that I had it in the crock pot. So cook it for about, <clears throat> about, your chicken's almost done by the time you put it in your crock pot. So cook it for about two, somewhere between two to three hours, two hours on high. Cook it for about three to four hours on low, okay? So let me grab it up out of there. I've been a stirring around. <sighs> Hang on a minute. I'm gonna get some of this goody goody out of here. See the steam coming off? Let me unplug my, or turn off my, there we go. Hang on a minute. Okay. And I'm going to grab my spoon and I, I mean my fork and I'm going to try a bite of this. Lord. That's good. Really good. I hope y'all get a chance to make you some. Very simple. Very simple. That chicken was so tasty. And you could taste that, the seasoning on it. Be sure and cook your chicken. You know, fry your chicken before you throw it in there. It gives it a whole different taste. So I just wanted to tell y'all how much I love you, how much I appreciate y'all watching. And um, I came on the other day and told y'all, Bella and I did, that some changes are coming and I hope they're for the good. Bella's been working really hard to get the videos up and going and for me and that's helped so much because <laughs> I've had no help until just the last couple of months. And I'm so thankful to get that. That's a prayer answered. So I hope y'all get a chance to make this. I hope that uh, that you enjoy it with your family like we're going to tonight. I've got some green beans cooking on the stove. And I've got some um, yeast rolls going in the oven. And so that will give us potatoes and chicken and some green beans and and some bread. And that's plenty. Won't need any more than that. Well, listen, I'm going to go. I want you to know how much the Lord loves you. Um, I've just got a lot of things going on. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, be coming up and telling y'all some different things and everything. So just uh, want y'all to be helping me pray about this stuff. And 
that God will make a way. He always makes a way when there seems to be no way, don't he? So whoever's listening today that needed to hear that, he never leaves us. He'll never leave us and he'll never forsake us. He'll see us through anything that we need to be seen through, don't he? He's always standing right there in front of us. He walks before us. Walks, I say he walks before me. He walks behind me. And he sandwiches me in the middle with his love. Well, listen, I'm going to see y'all next time. I love yous, okay? Enjoy a good meal like this. It's very simple. Easy. Bye-bye.